The Little Prince is approved and recommended by the National Education Association. A shooting star and sail away. Perhaps one day he'll come your way. Welcome, my friends. Here we are, far, far out in space again. We, and I am certain you recognize this very small planet, eh? You know it is only big enough to hold one house, well, a part of a house, and it is ruled by just one tiny person. The little prince. Well, of course, he is the only one who lives here, so it is not so much fun just ruling himself, you see. No, no, that can be quite dull and tiresome. That is why he was very happy when his good friend Swifty, the space bird, taught him how to jump up high and catch the tails of flaming comets that shoot by. They whisk him away to strange new worlds. And right now, the little prince is taking off on a new adventure with Swifty. Fast as the speed of light they travel. And where will they come to take them this time, eh? Ah, they are headed for Earth, and that is the little prince's most favorite place to visit. They plunge from blackness into the Earth's atmosphere. The comet slows down a little, then it hits the ground with a very hard bump. Oh, yes! Rough comet. Did we land? With a real wallop, little buddy. What country are we in, Swifty? Just before we crash landed, I spotted Amsterdam. I figure we're in Holland. I'm glad. <sighs> what a long trip. Holland looks like a very interesting country. They have windmills and dikes. And beautiful tulips. I'd love to smell a tulip. I wouldn't advise smelling some of the cheese they make. <laughs> I don't see any windmill. We're kind of inland, in farm country. Oh, good. I'll take off now. Fly back to B612 and check on things for you. You're leaving? Well, I've been here before, and you see one windmill, you've seen them all. But what about the dikes and canals, Swifty? And wouldn't you like to see tulips? I've seen about everything in the whole galaxy, little buddy. There's just no new frills for me. That's too bad, Swifty. Hey, it's not bad at all. Now I get my kicks out of showing you around. <laughs> Makes me a real space authority. Anytime you get the itchy foot to travel, just call on me and I'll take you to some wild adventure. Sorry about Holland this time. It's not so wild. Oh, I think I'll enjoy it very much. You probably will. You even like the Sahara Desert. If I don't see a windmill, maybe I'll see some people in wooden shoes. That sounds like a real blast. See you later. Meet you back on B612. Pretty. All the little lakes and everything so green. It's a lot different than my planet. But there's something familiar. A butterfly. Just like the ones on my planet. Don't fly away, please. Maybe you can help me with something. Excuse me, do you know where I can see a windmill? Do you? What was that? Uh, uh, uh. Help! Somebody help! I can't hold on. Just hang on, young fella. I'll try. I get you up and just a ship it. Don't bigger so much. <laughs> Grab hold this tree hard. Now up we come. Fly just like a bird. Well, I'm awful glad you came along, sir. Did you pull that big tree right out of the ground with your bare hands? 
first time I do that. My work is to chop trees down. I am Mutzer, the woodcutter. Are you looking for trees to chop down now? <laughs> You're looking, but nobody hires me. Nobody wants trees cut. I could use you to cut down all my baobab trees, but you're too big for my world. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of small world you got, Beta? Well, it's an awful long way from here. You can't see it in the daylight. I think you make big joke for Moonser. It's true, Munsel. It's a tiny little planet called B612. I leave it sometimes and travel all over the universe. I go to other galaxies and visit strange alien planets. I zoom right through things like meteor showers and skim over black holes. It's exciting! Maybe you show Munzer how to fly to planet with many trees, yeah? There must be lots of trees in this world, Munzel. Nobody wants me here. But you're big and strong. Everybody laugh at me. Laugh at strong. Who need big and strong? Somebody must. I wish was so, Beta. I walk many miles looking work. Find nothing. You'll find it. Oh, look. What's that? A village. You don't have to chop trees, you know. Uh, maybe. Why don't you try? What could I do? <laughs> Anything. I never live in village, only in woods. How I talk to people, huh? Easy, just like you talk to me, Munzel. Yeah, so? I do it. Village is big. Maybe nobody laughs because Munzel is big. Where I go first, huh? Uh, what hit? You all right, Munzel? Big surprise. Oh! 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 Help, Papa! Somebody get a lover. Hurry, yeah, he get you out, Let son. Help me, Edward. Hurry, please. We need something stronger. That's you. I do. Elephant. My friend Munzel can get you out. He's strong. Like elephant. Yeah, he can do it. Lift hard. You can do it. Munzel not eat for two days. You can lift it, Munzel. I know you can. Yay! Yeah! All right! Get the boy! Papa! Good, good. You're all right. Such a blessing. Danko, Danko there. Danko, Danko there. It's a shame you don't eat for two days. Mmm. Eat, eat, good friend. Danko there. Just like magic. More food yet. I know you work like an elephant, but... Yeah, so eat like an elephant. <laughs> now I'll bet you could do the work of 50 men if you only had a job. Now, Mozart lift wagon and horse. I'd be happy to hire you for my dray business. I haul lots heavy things. Thank you, sir. I do you good. See? 
you got a job right away. Such a good worker he is. He's afraid people will laugh at him, but I don't know why. He only wants to work and be helpful. He falls, maybe? Oh. No, stop! Ruin! No, no, please, don't put on the wagon. It is too much. Look what you did. What I did, maybe? Shed is gone. Yeah, shed is gone. Wagon is gone. And you will be gone. This time, nobody laugh. You'll get another job. And next time, don't try to do so much all at once. One thing at a time. Maybe a job. You do it. Yup. Well, you bend it and you got a chop. One thing at a time. This time. Fire. Never hired, Munso. I know you'll be really good at building houses, Munso. Well, carving out big rocks for making statues is better yet. That's it. Working on the railroad is the perfect job for you. You're big and strong. You can do anything. Don't try to do so much all at once. Munso, don't quit. You've got to keep trying. No, never get jobs. Getting jobs isn't your problem, it's keeping them. You'll find the right one. Too big. The little prince is having a most difficult time helping his huge friend. Ah, but now I think they have found the perfect job. He could use a new strong man in the circus. Good. The stronger, the better. He'll give you a test. This. Easy! <laughs> you are the new main attraction, center ring. Big is good. Strong good. Ow, oh, that's too strong. I knew you'd find your place. You're not too big for this world. The greatest show on earth, ferocious wild animals direct from the jungles of Africa, daring and dazzling acrobats, on our newest attraction, that giant of steel sinews and superhuman strength, Monsell the Magnificent. Good luck, Monsell. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the first demonstration of his incredible strength.
so small but I'm the biggest one up there because I'm the only one and so I have to be the strongest one too I do all the work cleaning out my volcanoes digging canals so my rose girl can have water when I'm gone and nobody yells at me because I'm not big enough or strong enough you're only big small weak or strong depending on where you are and how you look at things yeah you say good beta months are only big because other people small Boots are strong because other people are weak. Huh. You hear funny sound, Beta? No, I don't. Yeah, listen hard. Motor makes funny sound. Is a leak. If it gets bigger, it could flood the whole village. So, village will just have to sleep. They are good and strong. Big job to fix hole, and this time Munzo does not help. I am mad, those people. We can plug the leak before it gets worse. He's already worse. Please. No, I do nothing. <gasps> Too late. Look out yourself! Water is strong! You almost mashed flat! I'm not big and strong like you! No, you little and brave. Well, we've got to do something quick. It's getting a lot worse every minute. Yeah, Munzer will do it. Munzer are big and dumb not to do it when you say. Are getting stronger yet? Uh, uh, Hold on as long as you can. Run fast, Beta. Help! The canal is breaking! The flood is coming! Somebody help! Oh, you again. The canal is breaking! It is nothing, Mama. But the canal is breaking! Yeah, so? And who breaks it? Your big elephant friend, eh? Let him fix it. He didn't do it. The rain did it. He's trying to help. Yeah. He will help by staying far away. My shed and wagon he ruined. The blacksmith he ruined. The circus he ruined. But, sir... What's all the noise, Otto? Foolishness. You've got to listen. The canal is breaking. You're all in great danger. Our canals are strong. They never break. It is your child friend who breaks things. Right now, he's trying to stop the leak with a big rock, but he can't hold it much longer. The canal has sprung a bad leak. The boy told us true. There's a big man trying to plug the leak, but he needs help fast. We make big mistake, boy. Don't go there. Get shovels on sand bags quick, then all men on Fritz wagon. Munzel's a hero. I only hope he was strong enough this time. Uh. You did it! You saved the village! And it was...
wasn't a job you did for money. You did it because you're good and you love people. We owe you our life. And besides the key to this village, we offer you any job you would like. Mozo like to work alone, chop down trees, that is good. I can get your job cutting whole forest. Thank you, sir. Mozo like best where trees are bigger than him. Well, I didn't see any windmills, but I met a man almost as big as a windmill. Hospital good, but outside better. Good, Edison. I was on my way home. Oh, you leave already, and Moots will not even know your name. It's the little prince. Now Moots will shop trees all alone. Good, that's what you always wanted. I miss you. I'll miss you too. Monsel needs smart little fella. <laughs> <laughs> Was great honor to meet you, Beta. Oh, not that again. Hmm? This is a lot safer. <laughs> 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 well, so the little prince did not see windmills, but he made some good new friends, and he helped that giant man to see that he was not a failure, because helping others can be the best and most rewarding job of all. Adiós.